Hello there my fellow stars, before the video starts, I wanted to ask you guys, for the 600 subscriber special, a lot of you guys, I've been seeing one of you in the comment, I saw, I saw you Sardonyx, you want to see the cat, and I was thinking, a lot of people actually do want to see the cat, so I'm thinking, for the 600 special, should I reveal what my cat looks like? I will, I promise that, and I, it's either going to be a picture, or a bit of a video of her, it depends on what I could get for camera. Because uh, I do have a camera laying around where I could do like a little bit of recording and take a picture. So if you guys want that, I will do that so you guys get to see what she looks like. She's pretty cute, so I think you guys will love her. Be sure if you are new, subscribe if you guys haven't. Because I make a lot of content. I'm sorry I haven't been making too much content because, you know, I kind of got taken away by the... Um, server thing like you know I've been talking about server thing and to me it's kind of overwhelming because it's my first time ever building for someone I don't know so Jessica dragged me into this one and I'm very overwhelmed by it so I didn't know whether if I could record a lot of videos it's been like really destroying me that I haven't been able to live stream either like I know I miss a live stream day and I already feel terrible about that. It's like, I should never miss a live stream day because I love live streaming for you guys. You guys are amazing to hang out with. So, once I just miss a live stream, it's like, it's like a crush to my soul. Like, it's like, you, you miss out on a live stream and you still haven't finished this lobby because I've been working on a server lobby instead of the one they actually wanted because they wanted a minigame realm lobby. Which I'm starting to think is like, how high pixel has before the minigame starts it's like the lobby that you wait in before the minigame goes like you're waiting for players in it that's what I'm starting to think it is I'm not still fully sure considering I don't do server talk I'm a free builder and more of a map builder so I don't really build for servers much I've only built for one because it was like a really close friend server but it didn't really go out so yeah that's mostly what's been going on. That's why I'm recording a lot, but I swear to God, I'm going to get right back onto that track. I need to record for you guys. I, I love recording for you guys, actually. I've been doing making videos a lot, and another thing I've been wanting to get into was making more edits to my video. I don't know, it just sounds so much fun, making more edits to my videos. Probably like adding a funny edit here and there if anything stupid happens. It'll be like that funny edit. It, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with YouTube. There's gonna be some video experiments probably going out soon, like if I ever record a video. I'm trying to get like my more wacky um, identity out there because I have been like so shy to show my true identity. But to be honest, I'm I'm pretty much of a funny person if like you were to know me personally. But I've been so sh camera shy lately that. It just doesn't come out, so I'm hoping to get that personality out more too, because I really want to get that personality out. Maybe it may take a while, you never know. It takes a while for me to get used to things, and this is something I'm starting to get used to more and more, especially during the live streams. And of course with Mooch, if you guys are knowing to live streams, Mooch sometimes shows up. And he's a funny dude. He's a cool dude to hang out with, so yeah. I hope I can get more of the fun identity out that I really am on the inside. It just still needs to come out. And don't mind me just breaking grass. I just do it because it's something to do, I guess you could say. But that's when I'm going to wrap this up. If you guys do want that cat reveal, be sure to say yes because I really love to show up the kitty. I've already done the mod showcase, so this is right, right after doing the mod showcase itself. And I'm going to let you guys get to the video. No more taking you guys away from it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Hello there, my fellow stars. It's Ventrix here with another Minecraft video, and today we're here with another mod showcase. And today's mod showcase is one I've been seeing a lot because you've been coming just everywhere. I, to be honest, you don't have to comment it everywhere. Just comment on my mod showcase video, and I'll see it, so no worries. You don't have to comment the mod that you want me to do on every video, and you know who you are. We are doing your mod today because I couldn't find any other mod, so I would, didn't want to repeat another request just in case I, I don't want to forget anyone. So, as you see, the names are a little bit mixed up. That's because we're down a version of 1.12 because we're doing a mod that's actually back at 1.7. So, I'm gonna put your sign here and cat D D X. All 
there we go. You want us to do the bread mod, but the only bread tip of mod I could find was the bountiful bread mod. I forgot that the signs and we'll play somewhere a lot smart too. Bountiful bread. There we go. Now we fit it. So you want us to do that mod? Don't worry about this. This is just like in our world. I've already put cat's name in the other world, so that they'll show up in our next mod showcase, and all your names will be there again too. I just tend to like showing like who's gonna be in the next wall names on video, just so you guys can see that. So we're gonna head to this area because she told me to meet me here. As you guys can see, we got some interesting stuff. So what's going on, Raven? Hello Vidrix, today we're doing another request by a star known as CatDX. They wanted us to look into the bread mod. The only one we found was the Bountiful Bread mod. Indeed, we looked for a few of them, but the only one that really showed up was Bountiful Bread mod. The other one was like in 1.6, and I kind of want to go that far back, so yeah. Alright, so here's the description for the mod. Craft your fa favorite type of bread in Minecraft. Bountiful Bread mod. 1.710 was has lot has tons of Minecraft. Uh, I can't read that in the chat sometimes. This is the other thing about 1.7. She doesn't have the dialogue thing, so I have to go like this. So craft your favorite breads, types of breads in Minecraft. Bountiful breads mod. 1.7.10 has tons of different types of bread, and the bread-related items including cornbread, rye bread, and even pickaxe made out of bread. That's true, guys. Like, this is a weird mod, but yet yeah, it's a very interesting one. Here we have all the crafting recipes. I couldn't think of any challenges that we could do with bread, but I hope the showcase is fun. So, enough anyways. I hope it is, too. Like, I understand. It's just a mod about bread. Challenges are going to be difficult. One lie. I even set up a command block to make you hungry to test some much food fills. Oh, thank you so much. That's very helpful, actually. I may need that, actually. So, we're gonna get to the actual crafting recipes after I show you guys this. This is a very interesting item that I've seen this. It's, um, it's bread ore. I never heard of bread ore. And, yep, yeah, just as I thought. So, if you have this, this will randomly spawn your world. Guess infinite amounts of food for you. That's pretty good. That's pretty funny that that the, this is actually a thing. But to be honest, at the same time, I'm not surprised. And I don't think Raven is either. So here we go. We're gonna get into the crafting recipe. So to make the loaf, you just need three bread like this, and then you get the loaf. So just like that, you craft it like this, and finally you got yourself a loaf. Let's see how much the loaf fills. So I'm gonna go ahead, run to this machine. This should make me like super hungry. If, if it's not, yeah, so, difficulty, normal, I forgot to set the normal, my bad, alright, let's see how much this fills, after, okay, oh, wow, the loaf is actually pretty worth it, you see how much it filled, it filled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half, oh, so, that's actually a lot, that's actually a lot of hunger, it just filled up right there, and it also gives you regeneration, so, not only is it like a food item, it's also an item that helps you regen, so if you get hungry, there you go, you have a nice thing of regen there for you. So, we're going to go on to the next bread, it's the banana bread, which is very interestingly made with a bread and a golden nugget, and you put it together like this in the crafting recipe, just like that, and you got yourself some banana bread. So let's see what this one does. The other one has very interesting effects, so I wonder if every single bread has its very own effect. That's all I kind of want now. So we're gonna push that button. We're gonna make ourselves hungry. We're first to wear off. Yeah, we're gonna start, start. Yeah. Don't worry, it won't kill us. So let's just eat that. I believe we already had the regen. So 52. Wait. Oh yeah. It. Yeah, I don't think the banana bread has any effects to it. It's just food. But. Now I think of it, didn't really look like it filled much. I was just trying to check if it had an effect with it, considering I was pretty curious. So let's see how much it actually fills up after we lose this again. I didn't really count it at first there, so. One, our hunger is out. 
So that's like three and a half right there. Pretty good food if you look into it. If you feel like making one of these. But I'd say the loaf is still like the biggest advantage of food, I'd say. Like the loaf is really good. Then what we have next is the biscuit. All you need is two bread. Put it together just like this in the crafting recipe and you beat yourself a biscuit. So then I'm going to go to the machine and see what happens. We still have the regen from that one bread, that loaf that we ate. So well, you're going to go ahead and lose all that. And we're going to go fade to a one. And our hunger is off. Let's test this out. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like it's like four and a half again, so it's the same as the banana bread, and there's no effects with this one, so that's very interesting about this bread. Not too much, but I say the loaf is still the best food to make so far that I've seen. And then you could just make normal bread, which I believe you could turn into toast inside a furnace. So let me get myself a furnace. Uh, furnace. Boop. There we go. And a coal. Coal. Come on, me. Make a type. Coal. Oh. There we go. So if you take this and put it in here, then you get. No. Why would you do that to me? Don't know why I did that. So there we go. So you just put in there. I'm going to test the normal bread to see how much that fills up. And then we're going to test out the toast to see how much that will fill. I'm going to put a few bread in there so that, you know, just as much as I can cook. There we go. So while we let that, we let that cook, we're going to go test out how much hunger this fills. So there we go. Go ahead. Wait for my hunger to wear off again. Just so when I eat, we won't instantly run out of the food again. Um, yeah, I'd say the bread isn't really worth it, because, uh, wait, it also gives you a hunger effect. So, yeah, I would say the normal bread isn't really worth it. I just realized I can't sprint. That's weird. So, yeah, with hunger, yeah, it's not the best food. But, let's try out the cooked bread. So, I have, like, only three. Let's see. Two minutes it gives you hunger for. Let me see if I could just... Man, I can't believe it gives you hunger though, it's weird. So yeah, if you, I would say bread isn't really worth it because it'll just literally give you hunger. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna just put all that down. Yeah, the all negative out the effects so I'm gonna make it shorter, so there we go. Now... Oh, yeah, I should have ate that. So that's like two and a half, so still not too much. But it's still pretty good food to look into, I guess. Then, we, not only do we have that bread, we also have rye bread. So let's look at what we have for rye bread. So how to make rye bread is a bread and some seeds. You put the bread here and the seeds right next to it and you'll craft you some rye bread. So, I wonder if rye bread will like give you that same hunger effect as the other one did, because as you guys know that. This bread, it, this bread right here, it's not worth it. Don't, don't eat normal bread. It, it'll give you the hunger effect for like two minutes. So let's see how much that one should do. Three, two, one, come on. Then we got our rye bread. Three, three hunger bars. Let's see if it gives me any bad effects if I eat it all. Nope. Seems like this one doesn't make you hungry. That's good. I thought it was going to be like, kind of like the other bread, but thank God it wasn't. So yes, yeah, so you can eat rye bread and not get too hungry. So now we're going to go to the baguette, which you craft with all three going in this direction. And then you have yourself a nice baguette. So let's see how much hunger this should fill. Let's see if this has any special effects to it. Because this is also very interesting. The bread on like the other ones. So let's see how much it should fill. Three, two... One. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, that fills up a lot too. So that fill up one, two, three, four, five and a half. So I'd say the baguette is really good also. The baguette is like the second best compared to the loaf, so I'd say totally go for the baguettes. I 
if you have this mod installed. So let's see what else we have. We have cornbread. So to craft this, we need an egg, we need bread, and we need sugar. And then we put just like how it is up there, just like that, and we'll get the cornbread. So let's see how much this beautiful bread fills up. So I'm going to go to the hunger machine. Let's make ourselves hunger again. Just going to run around the lab while we wait for the hunger to wear off. We actually have a lot more crafting recipes to go through. If you didn't know that, there's like a lot of crafting recipes throughout this. Let's see how much this fills up. Yep, this fills up like straight up one, two, three, four, five. That fills up like straight up five hunger bar. So once you like take two gulps of that for being hungry, you're pretty good. That's awesome. So now we're on to the bagel right here. So to make the bagel, you need four bread and you need to put all in these boxes right here just like that and then you have yourself a bagel so I'm gonna grab all these bagels and we're gonna go test out how it does so this is gonna be pretty fun whoops did we cook that so we're gonna get ourselves all hungry and then as I look into this stuff as our hunger goes out we still got this one to go through so let's eat that oh yeah that fills up a lot also this is like the third best Actually, I think this is actually the second best. Because I think this filled up way more than the baguette did, actually. So that filled up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hunger bars right there. And I would say that's very worth getting into. So yes, as you guys saw, we're getting into a very interesting bread next. This one is called the magic bread, I believe. And here you go. Magical bread. And how you craft this bread is eight blocks of redstone surrounding a bread and you'll get magical bread so that's a very interesting thing like magical bread what does it taste like hmm. overpowered bread I just got the achievement for it look at that or this thing like works like very specially I don't know I've never tried this yet so let's see our character thinks of this let's see how much saturation it has this fills up all your hunger it gives you absorption it also gives you regeneration and resistance. It's kind of like a golden apple in the form of bread, I guess you could say. So, yeah. That's really cool. I like that. That's a, that's a good thing of bread right there. So if you're ever, like, starving to death and you have the resources for it, just make that bread and boom. You're no longer hungry. So we're into the very strange items that I kind of couldn't understand. It's two loaves and a stick and you go like this yes yes there's bread tools there's tools made out bread so let me grab a zombie egg I'm gonna test how much damage this does thank you so we're gonna test this guy so that's like three hits that killed him. So one, two, three, yep. Three hits and he's down. So that's how much that, that does. So now we're on to the next item, which is the, which is this. So we got two and we got this. Then what you craft is two sticks like that and we get a bread pickaxe, cause why not? Guys, a bread pickaxe is totally need to exist. Like, come on, man. So, it, it mines pretty well. It, it has a pretty decent speed to it. But, yeah. It's very interesting to look at in your, in your hand, too. Like, look at that. It's just bread stuck together. Creating one thing. So, uh, next we have is another crafting recipe. Three bread and two sticks. And that is going to go like this. And two sticks, and we got the bread pick. Then you could just, yeah. It's got a pretty good mining speed, not too bad. It's like the pickaxe, not too bad of a mining speed. Then we got the bread shovel. You guys can see. <laughs> just some very weird, like, recipes here. So we got this, and we can make the shovel. Let's go out to our training grounds. Let's see. How fast this is. 
decent mining speed once again. Very good mining speed, actually. Not gonna lie. Kinda like that mining speed. Makes things better in life. Then finally, the last tool, of course, you need in your life is a baguette hoe, of course. Why not farm your bread with this? Like, come on. You like literally look like a person who loves bread. So, yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting tools. <laughs> I don't even want to say about them. I'm not. I'm not shocked that they exist, but it's just very weird to be looking at. So now we're gonna be grabbing all of these, and you guys may notice what these are once I get the number of them. So you need about 24 of them to make a whole thing. So we need five for the helmet. We need eight for the chest plate. We need seven for the leggings. Then we need four for the boots. So there you go. Yes. A whole set made out of bread. You can officially wear bread now, guys. Congrats. Let's see how much defense it does against zombies. Like, as you guys can see, it's not. It's kind of like. Let me test iron against this thing. Let me get myself an iron set. I kind of want to say this matches up to iron with like the whole bar thing. Oh, let's see. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half in the bread in the bread set. Yeah, they're equal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Just like iron, so this is pretty much like iron gear itself, so yeah. Have yourself some fun with this. What? I just feel like killing this guy with my bread shovel. Yeah. I think this stuff also has like a lot of durability, not too much durability, but pretty good durability to stick up with this, but yeah, that's pretty much for this weird mod. So if you guys have enjoyed this mod, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to suggest what mod you want down in the comment section. And I'll choose it, and you'll be on the wall of requests along with that. So, yeah, this is a very weird mod. I don't know what to say about it. Now that it's over with, it's, it's been quite a bread adventure. So, I think even she's a bit confused. She's like, what even is this mod? Like, I feel like she's face palming hard about this set right here. Well, I kind of am too, but it's not bad. Like, come on, bread set. This, it's a very interesting color too. Like, come on, man. This is, if, I guess if you really, really love bread, if you're attached to bread, this is a mod for you. So, if you really love bread, go download this mod. I think you'll love it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you, bye, Fossars.